Pakistan begin their World Cup campaign with a match against Netherlands at Hyderabad. Uh, they've had a, uh, you know, all attention in India has been on the Pakistan team ever since they've come to play in the World Cup and that's expected. There's been such a brouhaha about their participation itself in this World Cup and of course the much-awaited Indo-Pak match on October 14th at Ahmedabad. But there are other teams in the fray. In fact, this tournament is of 10 teams. So Pakistan have to play nine countries, nine matches, and then hope to get into the knockout. It's not going to be easy. It's not easy for any team. But playing Netherlands at, you know, at the outset is that a, a, a kind of a soft and easy transition towards the big, bigger matches? We'll have to wait and see because Pakistan's been on a bit of a roller coaster ride in the last, I would say, 8 10 weeks. Till about six weeks back, before the Asia Cup began, they looked a very good team. They, they, were, they had come together, and in fact, by you know, most people thought uh, or argued the experts that uh, along with India, Australia, and England, Pakistan would be the fourth team uh, to certainly make it in the semis and perhaps also even go on to win the title. But a lot of things have gone, kind of gone you know, uh, haywire since uh, since that time. In the Asia Cup, Pakistan got got off to an impressive start and then completely lost their bearings. Well, they were walloped badly by India, didn't qualify for the final. And uh, not just that, worse, they suffered injuries to some key players. Naseem Shah, Harris Rauf, Shahin Shah Afridi. Afridi recovered in time to play. They can continue playing in the, in the Asia Cup. Harris Rauf recovered just in time to play the World Cup. But Naseem Shah, unfortunately, had a far more serious injury and is out of the World Cup. And remember, he was, he's a pace sensation amongst the most promising uh, players. So, Pakistan came here a little beleaguered and their warm-up matches in this World Cup haven't, haven't been disastrous. I mean, Babar Azam has got runs, Mohamed Rizwan has got runs, but haven't been, uh, haven't shown enough robust evidence that they look uh, a team to beat. Uh, Haris Rauf, for instance, went for more than 90 runs against Australia in the warm-up game. So, uh, it's, it's a vulnerable team in many ways and that's something that Netherlands would look to, employ, uh, to, to exploit. Now, we all know, we've seen this often enough in sport and especially in, in uh, ODI cricket that results can go topsy-turvy. Uh, the Netherlands are going to play or have no pressure on them at all. If anything, they might end up spoiling the party for one or, or, or one or two or maybe three of the bigger teams. So, Pakistan have to be careful. They don't have to be, you know, defensive. They have to go out and play to win. But they have to be careful that they don't get complacent or overconfident. Overconfident. They need to start with a win. More importantly, they need to start with an impressive win. Impressively enough to kind of boost their own confidence and send the signal to the other teams that they are not kind of, uh, you know, under 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 pressure, under the pressure which seemed they were uh, when they when they came to India. So, these just a, the backdrop to this match is going to be played in Hyderabad. Again, we don't know what kind of pitch will be available, but there will be a massive turnout to see Pakistan play. They are amongst the big draws in the, in the competition. Uh, I think a lot of people will be watching closely how Babar Azam takes his form further. He made 90 against Australia the other day. Mohamed Rizwan looked good. Fakhar Zama is somebody who is struggling a bit, has been for a long while. Shahin Shah Afrizi needs to get into his groove quickly, so to Harris Rauf. I think the player to watch out for will be Shadab Khan, uh, the leg spinning all-rounder. Uh, he, uh, he needs to, he was very ineffective in the Asia Cup. He can bat, he's a gutsy batter, brilliant fielder, but he needs to come good because he's such a pivotal guy for this team along with uh, Mohammad Nawaz and I think even Iftakar Ahmed. But Sadab Khan is the guy to watch out for.